Hello, my name is Michael and I live in Cleveland, Ohio. And my question today relates to Helaman chapter 3, verses 33 through 36. Sometimes it's easy to see pride in a close friend or family member, and it's tempting to call them out. When in reality, I'm probably the one that needs a change of heart. So my question is this, how do I avoid the trap of putting myself above others when it seems that they're the prideful one? For me, it calls to mind a scripture. The Apostle Paul says this, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. I love these verses because to me it sounds like Paul is saying, just very clear and simple, we got to learn to stay in our own spiritual lane. And that's tricky in part because in the gospel, in the scriptures, the Lord speaks to us as a group through his servants. And so it's possible, in fact, very common for us to overhear his spiritual advice to other people at the same time that he's giving spiritual advice to us. In my own life, I know that sometimes that has become a tool for Satan. He likes to push me over to the other track and say, did you hear what elder so-and-so just said to your neighbor? Or that would reply really well to your family member, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, and that becomes a distraction then from the messages that were intended mm -hmm. for me. To go back to that, I feel like a lot of times in life we expect people to change, to be the way we want to see them. Mm -hmm. But in my own life, I get to really see myself in the mirror and see all the work that needs to be done. Because there's a lot of work that needs to be done, you know? And if we can look in the mirror and see what needs to be done, it will be hard to find work to do outside.